Hi everyone and welcome to Banks Beauty. I am so excited to talk you through the first series of products. So I just wanna start with Banks Beauty and what that's all about. So I have always been utterly obsessed with cosmetics. It's just a huge passion of mine. I don't know why it's a very superficial industry and that's not something that I'm about. I don't like the, the fake and the all that kind of shit. So it's, it's, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I like it. I do, not gonna fight it. So my skin genius, I've always had trouble with acne prone skin. It's very, it's very dry and very oily combination in areas, super, super, super sensitive. It's fast track a little bit, so bought a whole bunch of shit, did a whole bunch of shit, and then it was about, it was about seven years ago that it was New Year's Eve, and my skin was still, like, I was in retail, and I was customer facing, and I was waking up with pimples, and it was taking me forever to cut them up, and just kind of have, like, a nice complexion naturally. And I said, you know what, fuck this, I've had enough. So then I signed up to a skin gym, and every fortnight it was doing an alternate treatment, so it was needling, so tiny little needles would go in and burn out your pores at, in problem areas, and then you would do light therapy, and then you would do extractions, and then you would do a mask, and you'd kind of rotate through these different uh, treatments. And the products they sold were developed by doctors. Now, when you buy products over the counter, the molecular size of the product has to be quite large, and that's so it doesn't penetrate into the deeper layers of your skin. So when you start to go to dermatologists and doctors and um, things like that, then you get the really small molecular size products, which means they can penetrate and get in there. And they're also just higher quality, high performing, all that kind of jazz. Um, I did see a dermatologist many years ago, um, and she pretty much told me I'm always going to have problematic skin. Um, it's just somewhat hereditary. But my skin also goes through two cycles a month. So people's skin normally go, you normally go through one. So I'm just typically prone to, to, to being a bit more oily, no matter how, what I do, if it's the oil controlling, anything like that. So yeah, then it was, I was spending thousands of dollars with her on treatments and masks and skin mapping and supplements and all these products and they were working. Like it was, it was good. It definitely improved my skin, but it just wasn't, one, financially sustainable, and then two, I just didn't, I didn't feel it. I was just trying everything. I was putting green tea bags on my face. So I was not eating dairy. I was doing whatever I could to try and have good skin. My whole life has revolved around good skin. And if you can relate to me, you, you rock up somewhere, you look in the mirror and you're like, oh wow, the harsh reality of the sun. Mm, off I go, back home, back to bed. It has hindered a lot of my life and it has really stopped me doing a lot of things. If I you know, look back 10 years ago, I'm like, oh, I wish I just had of just shaken myself and gone, no one really cares. I, get, I just, I wish I had the knowledge that I have now, back then. I could have, could have managed it a little bit better and just mentally controlled it a little bit better as well. So then after, you know, not trying anything, I was kind of looking at things that I hadn't tried before. Oils. Oils was one thing I hadn't tried before. So I made my first bottle of face oil just over five years ago and then developed, 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 added ingredients, take, took things out, changed the amount, all that kind of stuff. And there was no intent to sell these products. But my skin is fantastic and it's very, even now I'm like, so hard for me to say that, but I love my skin and yes I'm wearing makeup today and you can see from photos and in the video here like it's clear it's it's there's no texture the the color it, everything all the the conditions I had before are at bay and I just mentally physically it just feels so good and I was like I, I have to share this with the world and and anyone who is in a similar position to me or or can relate to what I'm saying at on any level um, I've, I've made this for you and I've developed this brand for you. It's time. Let's, let's do it. Let's put it out in the world and see what happens. Um, again, it's something I'm really passionate about and I've always said, if you'll always be good at things that you enjoy doing. I'm not saying I'm going to be good at this, but or successful. That doesn't matter. It's just, I'm passionate about it. So I really want to do it, put it out to the world. It's going to be a line of really powerful cosmetics that are natural, free from all, all the crap that is out there. There is so much shit out there. The more I discover in terms of manufacturing and ingredients and, and things that are typically used to make certain products and how they're marketed. I'm like, 
people aren't making ingredients. They're not making raw ingredients. They might mix something and turn it into a complex or a, a this and trademark it, but it really is just a mix of raw ingredients. There's a lot of white label products out there and there's a lot of really nasty chemicals that I've personally reacted to. I've had chemical burn in the past. Um, I get dermatitis. Again, really, really sensitive skins. There's a lot of stuff I can't use. Any fragrances, things like that. And I try a lot of products. I'm always trying skincare makeup. So I want it to be for all ages, all skin types, conditions, concerns, genders, preferences for skincare, and also budgets as well. I, I really want to really hit that where possible. Again, being an indie brand, I'm not really doing it for the money. I don't really do anything for the money unless you get like work. I, I just love making cool stuff. Like it's something that I would want. Oh, let's see, I'm biased. I'm rambling on a bit now. I'm really rambling on. Um, I tend to do that. Thank you so much for watching, and welcome to the world of Banks Beauty.